everyone. We are on our way. It is today, the 6th of April, I think. Let me check. Yeah, Wednesday, the 6th of April. And we are on our way to pick up a shipment that came in for a specialized children's hospital. It's in the city center here in Kiev. It's called Ahmadit or Ahmadiyat. Uh, I have a little trouble pronouncing it. Anyway, it's a great cause and they needed someone to transport something from the post office to the kids hospital and we are doing that right now. Uh, if we're not mistaken, this is regarding uh, this wash powder to wash all the clothes and all the stuff that the kids use there, right? And it's, it's like supposed to be a lot of it. So I'm not sure. We're going to the post office right now to pick it up and we'll see. We have two cars with us. Uh, just to be sure, we don't know how much this is exactly and how, how big it is. Okay, so we're currently here waiting for our package and this is what was ordered. So, I don't know if it will focus, otherwise I will just insert list of it. Things. A list of things that they need. Yes, it is ours, but it's not everything. They're still finding the rest in the warehouse where they received everything. So let's see. He knows what he's he knows what he's doing, doesn't he? Professional. Okay, so, so far this is what we got. Okay, there was definitely more. <laughs> it will fit. Everything is in. We're on our way. So we are now delivering some stuff, some basic stuff. We have some oatmeal here, some pasta, a lot of rice uh, to give to people who fled from Bucha as far as we know. Uh, we have a contact of a lady who is helping them, but we don't have that much information. So we have this amount for them first. If we can see that it's worth it and these people really need a lot of stuff, then we might go back and give them more. Uh, so we'll see who we'll meet and how it will go. We decided to go to the market, at least the part that is open, to see if they have stuff from our list for cheaper. Because the cheaper it is, the more we can buy, of course. And usually these people have connections with uh, like the, the, the suppliers or the warehouse, I'm not going to call it. And they might be able to get it to us in bigger quantities than just buying the store empty. So let's see. see. Not all of them open. Oh, oopsie. Only 15. 15 of those 29. I recommend you. <coughs> Давайте, может, тот, который тоже 40, там, второй включать, включительно. 42, 43, вот, да. Вот. Таким mm -hmm. тоже давайте. Серенький пойдет один, один там. А сколько нужно вообще? Да, сколько можно. Yeah. Вот. This is a good proportion. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's great. Раз, два, три, четыре, пять. Fifty-five. Enough? Yeah, for now. It's a good start. So we bought boxes of noodles because they asked for easy meals and what's easier than noodles so we got them for 9 grivnas a package and that is uh, I have no idea how much in how many cents in, in dollars or euros that much <laughs> anyway good fun good morning it is today the 8th of April uh, we are going to deliver to four people, I mean four addresses today. Um, these are all older people who have trouble leaving the apartment, leaving the house. Um, this is probably the last time or one of the last times that we will visit these types of people. This is what we started with and this was what was the most important and 
like the most needed a couple of weeks ago right uh, all the people they couldn't get stuff out of stores uh, single parents you know we've told you many times and that's what we gathered most of the donations for what we've used most of them for however now that the russian army has left the ground in kiev and oblast so the like surrounding of kiev the province of kiev let's say um a lot of stores have been able to get stock again social workers can buy stuff again for those older people uh, people can go back to their jobs not all of them of course a lot of places are still closed and the store across from us uh, i will insert the picture right here looks like this still um, so definitely not everything is back to the same but this is not where the biggest need is anymore so uh, we've also seen that people who do the same thing as us and us ourselves have also been scammed or almost been scammed by people who try to use free groceries right so we've really been trying to see is this the person who really needs it who really cannot go out doesn't have money lost his job right uh, or has kids or pets right uh, and now we can just see that it's not needed anymore that much and we're not getting that many requests so that's why we're really focusing right now on pets and on the army we have a lot of good connections within the army right now where they can specifically say what those guys need because those guys are the reason why we are quite safe now except for missile attacks because the sirens are still going every day like very often still we hear the sirens we get messages on our phone that we should hide that we should find shelter so it's definitely not completely safe but at least they're not on the grounds anymore and that's why we see the complete devastation that they've left behind for example in Bucha and I'm pretty sure that very soon we'll see what they've done in other places where like they are still on the grounds right now so we're not seeing this footage yet um, so anyway I just wanted to let you guys know that we're moving on from this if there's people who really need it and we can see that they need it of course we will still go uh, if there's medicine needed most of them will also will be able to get it now uh, otherwise we can also still try to get it for them it's not a problem so if you know someone still please please let us know uh, but that's just something i wanted to tell you so you will see in our videos mostly now that we will focus on army and on pets so let's go and start delivering some stuff so we have four people to visit today uh i mean four uh, addresses right so these bags are all identical except maybe there will be different type of cheese but each of them has cheese right so i'll just quickly show you what's in it there is milk cookies rice there is pearl barley, <laughs> vegetable mix, pasta, some oats, here's cheese, there's some apples and carrots in there. We have some sausage, brown bread, some cheese, we have some fish in can, we have some peas and some pastet. Okay, some potatoes. What else have we got here? Some tea. Yeah, that's about it. This weather is absolutely great, isn't it? Guys. We're going to a 78-year-old woman. They told us that she cannot really walk that well. So she still needs food. So let's see. This is Видите, я не хожу, я хожу, вот с ходунками еле хожу, так что я не могу выйти даже не в магазин, Понимаю. ничего. Понимаю. Ну держите, все будет хорошо. До свидания. Спасибо вам большое. So as you can see, that lady had trouble walking. Mm. So there is an elevator, that's all great. But then when you exit the elevator, if you are in a wheelchair, this is how you get down. Or you try to get down here. Look how steep that is. Cannot even stand there. That's really steep. Yeah, so, and imagine you're in a wheelchair here and you're sitting like this, you might even fucking hit this, you know, this thing. Yeah, from engineering. Как у вас дела, в общем? Вон, видите, как. 
По здоровью, Ходить да. не могу, да. А сегодня еще или на погоду, в сердце до того разболело, что не могла. So we just called this lady who lives here, 74 years old, that she doesn't pick up. We try to call like in a period of 10 minutes, three times, no pickup. So maybe she's sleeping, but we're here now, so. hear that there's a dog in there so maybe she's not home but it was said that she cannot really move that well that's the whole point of this list of people so we hope she's okay we will just text to the person who gave us the contact um, just to check on her and I mean, it's quite far away from uh, from where we're going next so don't think we will be able to go back anytime soon let's see those very creative people live here don't smoke and don't write on the walls. <laughs> Makes sense. Now I see one I can show you. A lot of people did this thing that at night after the curfew, right? People are not allowed to leave the apartments or the buildings, not be on the streets without a permit. So they also, okay, I cannot look it, but they also, like people themselves made those locks so that like, even if you have this uh, thing to open the domophone or to open the, I mean, how do you call this thing? <laughs> this electrical thing with this chip to open it, that they can just, you know, still not go in. So, okay, now I should click it. <laughs> if there is power outage, then uh, this door is basically open. Yeah, yeah, right, I forgot about that. Exactly. So they can just lock it and still kind of feel safe. Because those doors are made of fucking steel, fucking Why thick. are you showing me? Because you were explaining this. I said this short phrase and that's it so <laughs> now, I, now I forgot what I wanted to say okay end of the story this is a very safe stairs как у вас дела? Ничего. Держитесь. Держимся. Успели купить гормоны и полим гормоны. О. А что не было? Но мира, слава Украине. Ярослава, держимся, все будет хорошо. Обязательно. Главное, чтобы все выжили. И хлопцы, и дети. Зараз на це, це насилие над женками. Да. Я сразу выключаю и плачу, бо у меня паническая атака над женками. Конечно. Хлопцы, Сейчас спасибо вам. Мы вот в армии тоже помогаем. Так что Я все знаю. вместе работаем. Спасибо. На нашу победу. Слава Украине. Да, Героям слава. Спасибо.